It is the 24th Kargil Divas today, marking the day when Indian Army triumphed over Kargil over Pakistani troops. It's been 24 years since the Indian Army delivered a decisive victory. In order to salute the brave hearts, there is a wreath laying ceremony in Ladakh today. My colleague uh, Rishab joins us uh, live on the broadcast to give us uh, more details. Rishab, it is the 24th Kargil uh, Vijay Divas. All right, I've been told that I've lost that connection with uh, Rishab. Uh, he is uh, joining us uh, from Dras. And uh, of course, we know at this point in time, it's the 24th Kargil Divas today, marking the day when uh, uh, Indian Army triumphed at the Kargil over uh, Pakistani troops. It has been 24 years since the Indian Army delivered a decisive victory. Them, they have been senior officials, including Air Chief Marshal uh, V R Chaudhary, as well as Naval Chief uh, Admiral uh, R Hari Kumar, uh, laying the wreath here at Kargil Vijay Divas. Uh, what we know right now that uh, Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh has landed in uh, Dras and would be here shortly. And as we are talking, Army Chief General Manoj Pandey has arrived at the Kargil uh, War Memorial. Uh, he'll first lay down the wreath at the war memorial remembering the supreme sacrifice of our soldiers in a Kargil war. Remember back in 1999, Indian Army fought these treacherous mountains against the Pakistani army supported by irregular troops uh, and for almost two months the, uh, the war went on India going by the book and uh, the Shimla agreement without crossing line of control ensured that every single intruder was thrown back and uh, by 26th of July which is 20, uh, which was 24 years from today uh, uh, every intruder was sent back and India declared victory and now on your screens you can see Army Chief General Manoj Pandey marching toward the uh, eternal frame uh, to uh, pay his homage and lay down the wreath as a respect to the uh, fallen soldiers. Remember, India lost 627 uh, officers and other ranks during the Kargil War. And the way uh, India fought that war is one of the finest examples of modern Indian military history. Uh, you know, uh, battalions like 13 J uh, Jammu and Kashmir rifles, uh, you know, one by 11 G uh, Gorkha uh, and other 17 Jat, 18 Grenadiers, uh, the 2nd Rajputana rifles, these battalions ensured that the most difficult terrains like Tiger Hill, like 5140, like Point 4875, Pimple Complex, uh, you know, Khalu Bar, the Jabbar, every peak that belonged to India, every strategic position that belonged to India that Pakistan captured by breaching the trust that both the countries have had since Shimla Agreement, a Indian Army ensured that fighting with integrity, fighting with army discipline, showcasing the marvel of junior leadership India ensured. All right, viewers, uh, these are live visuals coming in uh, from Kargil War Memorial where Rajnath Singh, uh, Defence Minister, has arrived and uh, he will be, of course, uh, paying homage to uh, the fallen uh, brave arts there. It is the 24th Kargil uh, Divas today and uh, marking the day when the Indian Army triumphed at Kargil over Pakistani troops. We can see uh, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh now arriving at the Kargil War Memorial. A retailing ceremony is already underway. And uh, remember, it has been uh, 24 years since the Indian Army delivered a decisive uh, victory. In order to salute the brave hearts, there's a wreath laying ceremony taking place in uh, the Kargil War Memorial in Dras, Ladakh. As you can see, those are uh, the live visuals coming in. One side, uh, the soldiers are, of course, uh, laying wreaths, saluting the fallen uh, brave hearts. And on the other hand, we can uh, see Rajnath Singh, a uh, defense minister, arriving uh, with uh, several officials and, uh, of course, uh, joining in to mark the 24th 
uh, Kargil Vijay Devas there. Indeed, it's a very significant day because uh, it was uh, India's victory, the soldiers' victory uh, over Pakistani troops in the Kargil war for ousting Pakistani forces from their occupied positions on the mountain tops of northern Kargil district in Ladakh back in 1999.